Good morning guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog here from Ling Ling Life. Today we are in uh, Suzhou. Suzhou is a small town besides Shanghai and Hangzhou and it is known as the Venice of China or like Asia. Um, don't know if I agree yet but there should be a lot of canals here, I just haven't really found them. <laughs> um, right now, if you're wondering, where is Ling Ling? What an interesting city, I know. Well, I took the metro to the end station and now I am waiting for a bus, a bus to take me to a small water town just outside of Suzhou. And the weather is horrible, but it's not too cold. And now it's windy as well, great. Awesome for this video. There we go. Uh, put on my cheap howl again because I washed my clothes, but uh, because it's so cold and humid here and there's no heating inside, then my all of my clothes is wet. <laughs> That's great. Anyways, just waiting for the bus here and uh, yeah, get ready to come. Put on my hat because it's cold. Anyways, I am. Here, yeah, I'm here. Uh, the water town is called Luzhi. It's always good to try to show them your student ID. Um, I got half price on the Piao and this ticket is for all the different sites inside this town. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, I'm not 100% sure what I walked into, but because I bought, I bought a ticket for all the scenic spots in this town, I thought, oh, I should definitely just walk in and check it out. So I think we are inside some kind of museum, but I'm not sure what they're famous for. So I'm just gonna look around a little bit and then I'll, I'll tell you in a bit. So I just learned that this is the residence of the Shen family who lived in this town before. A rich and intelligent family of generations. Pretty nice house to live in, I think. I'm still looking for the escalator in this uh, hundred year old residence. Um, I think they mean the stairs. <laughs> It's a beautiful garden, but I feel like the signs here are totally ruining it. Don't step on the grass, don't step on the grass, don't step on the grass, don't ruin the flowers. <laughs> uh, well, if you try not to look at those, then apart from that, it's really beautiful here.
I don't know if you remember, but when I was in Juji, I was really excited about the mijo I tried there, homemade. And then I realized that they have homemade uh, mijo here in this town as well. So I thought, why not buy one? I paid 18 kwai for this one. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to taste it. I'm going to see if I'm going to, um, you know, drink it by myself or maybe wait till I come back to Beijing. Then I can invite some friends and we can uh, get tipsy together. So guys, just uh, want to let you in on what just happened. It was really weird. Um, I was walking here on the little cute street and I saw some tourists standing in a little circle and people were yelling stuff and I thought they were just playing like some game because like a lot of Chinese love to play games on the street. Um, so of course I was like looking but there were too many people so I kind of got, you know, went down. <laughs> Um, to try to film what was going on and then suddenly one man he just came and pushed me to the side and I was like what is going on um, and I also said of course what is going on um, but he just looked at me like I was an idiot and uh, now I have a feeling that they were cheating the tourists because it was some kind of game you know where you had to guess how many smoke um, I don't know what it was, like uh, nuts were inside, or sesame seeds were inside the cup. So yeah, I saw there were a lot of money running through there. So I think I just busted him. <laughs> that was weird, that's the first time I've uh, tried this. Anyways, I just uh, saw a little cute cute shop, I talked to the owner and I bought some postcards. And uh, it's just a lovely day, I really love this place. And now a little boat is coming. Here, hey. And people are looking at me because I'm speaking English and I'm wearing a chipao and it's weird. <laughs> but nobody has asked for a picture yet, so that's a nice thing. Uh, I'm not really into the whole take pictures with tourists all the time because if I get started, uh, you can never finish again. So them looking is fine, but uh, no pictures right now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just arrived at the next scenic spot, so let's go in and see what we got here. You can see it here. There we go, nice entrance. It's a memorial hall for Wang Tao. So uh, I'm just gonna show my ticket and then we're gonna go inside. This is where we're going, just reading at the entrance. Also look for the Chinese New Year and uh, it's the ticket ladies uh, yelling in the back, <laughs> if you're wondering. Okay guys, so the memorial here is apparently made for a man who is, uh, who was a scholar um, and a very Wow, that's a very simple memorial. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he was uh, helping translating books for um, a British president of some press book pre oh my god i'm really bad at describing this story but anyways he was a really interesting man who helped translating a lot of chinese um, books into english and he also went to europe to travel as one of the first chinese intellectuals during that and uh yeah he was just a bit of a, a cool guy with some um, thoughts revolutionary thoughts anyways he died in 1897 I'm really bad at this history thing. You should probably look him up. His name is Wang Tao. <laughs> Sorry. This is so cool. This is another part of the memorial hall, I think. Just like a small room. I really like the paintings here in the back. Ah, there we go. I think this is the last part of my visit here in this little water town outside of Suzhou. Uh, thank you guys for coming with me. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling, Sao Tia and Zai Jian. Bye bye. Wow. Too beautiful. <laughs> bye.